would call Mr. Amir here on his next presentation on India's super OTT aggregated and content marketplace application. Can we have a huge round of applause for him, please? So Playbox TV is basically an OTT aggregation platform. So you must have uh, anybody in the house, room must be using Geo TV Plus or an Airtel Extreme today. Uh, so similarly, we have our own platform which is available uh, on iOS, Android, Google Play Store, uh, Fire TV Sticks, uh, Android TV. So any connected TV, any smart TV, you can download our platform. What does we exactly we are doing is that when we call ourselves super OTT aggregator, so we are right now aggregating more than 53 OTT platforms in the country. So in India, if you see there are 92 plus OTT platforms. As there, are, there were speakers were saying about that there will be OTT coming on regional. Uh, I know the OTT called Home TV. So every every channel who has uh, India has around 900 channels. So everybody is coming up with their own OTT platform. So it is very difficult for a user to download multiple apps and start consuming content. So that is why we thought that we'll aggregate all of them into one app where we'll give a single touch, single sign on experience and also help them collect the payments at the same time. So that is more about Playbox TV from a user perspective point. Today I want to talk about three things. So all the ISPs and MSOs in, uh, in the room uh, who are looking uh, for a platform which will help them bundle with their broadband services or the MSOs who are aspiring that uh, even they should have a platform like Tata Play Binge or Geo TV Plus. So Playbox TV is the very uh, uh, affordable solution uh, at an affordable price where they can just uh, get in touch with us. We do a lot of stuff with that. One with the one, this is the point number one discussion. Point number two discussion is that is there any content creator or an OTT platform in the room can uh, get in touch with us to get on board on the platform. Third, I want to talk about with respect to brands. So for example, any brand, so who, who wants to create and part of the OTT? So what we did, so I'll just take it, these are three things which we want to discuss and I will come one by one to it and then I will open up for Q&A and anybody can ask me any questions which they feel like. So we are the one of the fastest growing aggregator, one stop. So I, f I feel good talk that we are the fastest growing OTT aggregator and uh, content partner. So there are, these, are, these are some of the things which we do in a partnership level. So content partnership, technology integration, co-branding. We, we, we also help ISP to brand their logo. If, if it is a brand, we can help him put his logo on our platform. Uh, you can use it as a customer retention. We have a best competitive pricing. So. Uh, with respect to OTT services, we help them. So it is a very simple way to do it. Uh, one platform, you can get the reach. So any N number of downloads, N number of partners who are already on Playbox TV, uh, any OTT can come and use our uh, new paying customer, uh, retention, market, zero cost. So any new OTT, every time you see on the Western Express Highway, there is a new uh, mov movie series or a TV show is coming and there is a huge OH campaign. But with respect to Playbox TV, they, we help them save their cost by remarketing the same user on the platform, on the network itself. So that is the benefit for an OTT provider. Second, uh, any content creator uh, who wants to promote uh, the new content, that is also can be do it by push notifications, X, Y, Z. Third, the best part which Playbox TV has it is the biggest distribution network. We have around 400 ISP partners in the country who are bundling Playbox TV with their local broadband. So that is the amount of branding, that is the amount of reach and a distribution thing which you can get from us. Fourth, brands opening new avenues. So obviously, uh, uh, Playbox TV has its own programmatic dashboard where you can target users So uh, in terms of advertising. And it also helps partners make money out of it. So for example, if my partner, uh, I have partners in Siliguri, I have partners in Kolkata, I have partners in the remotest locale. And these are all small, big cable operators, ISPs, who are trying to compete with one of the biggest telco in the country. So you can also collect small, small ads and uh, make revenue out of it. Plus brands can target the user key, what is the age of this user, what, which target, all of those is also available on the platform. The third thing is that when I was saying that uh, how a brand can also do uh, 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 branding in terms of that. So for example, uh, when I say brand, partner, ISP, for me, all are at the same level. So every time the app starts and if the consumer is your user and it's authenticated from your dashboard, so your logo can be seen here. Similarly, any brand or a ISP can launch his own channel 
with respect to any, so there are other OTT platforms, and you can also launch your own channel, all your own programming, anything you can do on our Playbox TV platform. And you can, you can show that this is, this is uh, you don't need to b build a separate platform for it. We have covered all the points with respect to what an ISP or an MSO needs it in terms of uh, delivering to their users. Uh, if you see the notification feature, this is something which has been the very successful one for it. So every time, uh, for example, let's assume Nagesar is here, or they have a company called, they are also, also a customer. So they can push, they can do a push notification saying that today Big Venture wants you to watch Simba on Z5 with Playbox TV. So this is the, this is the way we can help ISPs and LCOs and MSOs sell more and more broadband, more and more subscriptions with the power of technology and the power of content. Uh, with respect to advertisement, as I said, that anybody and everybody can launch their channel. We are, we are today sitting on almost 400 channels. Out of 400 channels, uh, more than 150 channels are the local channels, which has never been recognized. These are the local news channels of some small uh, areas, which, uh, which is started by cable operators, which are started by local ISPs in the country. Apart from that, uh, we have, so Playbox gives you the mixture of everything. So it gives you the same experience of a cable TV. It gives you the same experience of a linear experience. At the same time, if the consumer wants to watch OTT, he can just click, on a click of a button, it can shift to OTT and start watching OTT content at a very affordable price. So uh, if I, if, if in terms of background, we are uh, 40, 40 plus OTT platforms are already where we are selling their bundle subscriptions. Uh, 400 plus partners in the country we have already enrolled with where, uh, which 400 plus is leads to around 5 million customers. So these are the ISPs who have already 5 million paying subscriber base, where any content creator or an app and an OTT can come and partner and enjoy and reach to those amount of users. Uh, these are the, some of the app logos which are part of our ecosystem, which we are bundling in the, uh, uh, currently. So uh, I will, uh, that was whole of Playbox TV. I'm open for questions. If anybody wants to ask me anything, I can answer that. Yes, sir. Just a minute, sir. We'll give you a mic. So you can say, uh, introduce yourself, and then you can ask your question. Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Jay Soda, and I'm into content creation. And uh, my, my question is on the technology front and the back end, what are you using it in terms of the language, and how open are you with the API? So to, in terms of sharing, because you mentioned that uh, you're open to you know collaboration partnerships and all. So. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what we do is that there are two kind of partnerships. One, if you want to do a content partnership, we can do uh, we can put your platform content onto our app. Or if you want to come as a platform, so we create a channel inside our Playbox TV platform. For example, any of your company name will be your channel name, and whenever a consumer clicks, we'll have this amount of OTTs. And we give the content creator the power of CPS. So if you said that you want to charge three rupees for this subscription, so we do bundling according to it. And so that is in the front end. I'm yeah. talking about the back end. What exactly? Which technology are you exploring yeah. so that uh, you know we can plan something out together and then. What, are you open to APIs? Yeah, we are yes. open to APIs, we are open to SDKs, we are open to all the, all kind of APIs, playing URL, HLS stream, and n number of things which, which anything. So if we want the consumer experience should be better. So we, uh, we can give you our SDKs, you can give you our SDK, which we can do it together. So which technology at the back end are you exploring? I, I am not the techie, I am the business side of it, but I will surely, talk, would love to talk to you offline about this. Sure, thank you. Anybody else wants to ask a question? Sure. So Amir, uh, this is Ronak Maheshwari. Um, yeah. I run Extreme Internet Exchange. Uh, so many ISPs are connected to me, and many of them are my customers. And I hear about Playbox everywhere. No? Thank you so much. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you, what is it that you are doing differently than other OTT app aggregators? So uh, what am I doing differently? I think uh, you should ask our customers. But from my perspective is that I never ask my customer to sell OTT because I feel uh, India is not here that. I am a platform which helps them sell more and more broadband with the power of content. So it's not just that he used go and sell me this, 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 this facts. Rather than I tell them that Playbox TV is a platform and you have to ride on that platform together so that we, how do we reach out to those millions of users and then those users who are hooked onto this platform, hooked onto this experience, 
then we can sell OTT. So I think that is something which has helped us over the period of time. I never go and partner with somebody saying that, so has, has Sir had a question that what is the, how do we compete on terms of price with respect to Jio and other players in the country. I, I, I completely agree with you, Sir. Uh, obviously, we cannot c compete at the level of pricing. But again, if you give users, uh, users really don't know what they want. We are the one who can decide what they, if you give them platforms. So India has 92 OTT platforms and we are worried about Netflix of the world, Amazon of the world, Hotstar of the world. No, there are 90% content which is get consumed, which is not branded content. So I feel if you give them a platform, if you build, give them a shop, you can recommend, you can see, you can get your existing logins onto our app. And then if you want to buy, you can buy it from here. Or if you want to buy from somewhere else, you can do it. So rather than getting into the race, so I feel that, 90% of ISVs are feeling that they are in the business of OTT. No, you're not in the business of OTT. You are in the business of delivering that content. So I think we, that is something which we have done differently over the period of time, where we are saying that, boss, uh, let me do my work. You just may help me reach my platform to your end number of customers, end number of, uh, uh, to the end home. And then I will help you make money through advertising, through OTT selling or XYZ. So that has worked in our case, Ronak. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are a smart tech hardware developers and uh, we are working with the world largest screen manufacturer BOE about developing the, you know, smart TV with a camera sensor so you can work as a recording and as a monitor monitor also. So, uh, and this is some, we are sharing our technology rights to any people who want to, you know, produce their such TV. So I want to know whether uh, your company is associated such kind of, you know, a completely branded TV where it's uh, of a multitasking, uh, you know, functionality. And it can be, you know, brand from India to globally, actually. So I would know. And why in the open question too? That like, this is because this can be open brand with anyone. It doesn't matter. It is only dedicated to the, uh, like, you know, Play TV box. So whether your company has strategy to have entered into the hardware, you know, something. So, so I, I'll be very frank and honest. Our journey has been two years in Playbox TV. And to answer your question, we started with a box. And I still get hurt every time I see my brand that is a box. So we don't, we don't really don't want to get into it because we had a very hard, <laughs> hard learning to it. That hardware is something is, I think uh, all the MSOs in the room and the ISPs, the CAPEX, they involve hardware. Everybody, in their case, it is very dependent. But I have left that job to players like Samsung, MI, Xiaomi, to you guys take care of the hardware. I am the software guy and I will take care of the OTT thing. I will never get into hardware. <laughs> so... Anyone else? Anybody? So, okay, I think, I think that's for all. Thank you so much, guys. But before going, I want to talk to Mr. Prashant, sir. Uh, uh, I like the Chaudhary thing since morning. And I, I was waiting to, for this moment when I'll talk to you directly, you know. I am OTT ka Chaudhary, sir. You should come to me. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.